welcome uh, back home, Long Island. Thank you. Fighting it's good at, to be home. Fighting at the Coliseum again. Yes, uh, I love it. Exper great experience last time fighting there. What was that like? And what was it like to be going back? The last time was surreal because it wasn't just the first fight at home on uh, Long Island, but it was the first fight in New York too, with everything just becoming legalized. So it was like killing two birds with one stone there. I had never even competed in New York, let alone at home, so I got to do both things at once. It was awesome. Going back to the Coliseum, though, for this one, how is this one a little different? Um, I mean, it's a little different. We're un I'm under a different banner now with the PFL, so um, other than that, nothing changes. It's, it's business, as always. I need a win, obviously. Uh, the way the standings are setting up, I, I got to get some points on the board. So my focus is and has been for the last six weeks to just crush myself because I'm so pissed about what I did in my last fight. Uh, so I've been torturing myself and uh, I want that to all come through here, all that anger, all that frustration out on, onto Yuki's face. Do you feel like the playoffs start Thursday night for you? You're on the bubble, right on the outside. Yeah, essentially they do, right? It's like uh, any other sport when you you're, you got to win to get into a wild card game or into the playoff. Basically, your playoffs start early. So this is uh, I took away my extra wiggle room that I had. There is no wiggle room now. I'm here at home, and it's, it's time to get the job done. How, how frustrating was it how it played out in Chicago? Uh, man, I mean, I, I'm not letting that linger. I cut it loose because it, it, it's just not good for you to hang on to that. But it was frustrating on multiple levels, you know. Um, I just slept on the dude. I, I had an interview yesterday and I told everybody I thought I was going to slap him around. Um, I didn't think much of him. And in this sport especially, sometimes when you do that, you, you pay. And, uh, and I did pay. What can you expect from Yuki uh, in this fight compared to most fights? Anything different that you think you can uh, out maneuver? I think you're going to see the same guy that you probably saw in the last fight against uh, Mamadov. He's He wants to come forward with wild stuff, mostly hands, and he wants to put you against the cage, and then if he can take you down, he'll take you down from there. It's a process. You, you saw in his last fight, uh, he's willing to chill there for like two three minutes at a clip with his shoulder buried in your stomach so it, what I'm thinking is in his mind he just wants to make it one of those dirty fights that he, he likes where he's driving his shoulder into you and he's winning because of uh, cage pressure so uh, I'm, I'm ready for that We're, we've been training it for six weeks How do you count? Uh, footwork cardio uh, drilling your cage, grappling. I'm um, gonna have my wrestling coach in the corner with me. I didn't take him out with me to Chicago. I think it was probably a mistake. Not that my other coaches don't understand that game, but having another guy yelling that's just focused on that uh, would have been a positive for me. I didn't do that and uh, it came back to bite me. So he'll be there he, this time. We've been going over how to, how to deal with uh, his cage pressure. So I think we'll turn the tides on him pretty easy. On Instagram, you mentioned that your camp's been the best to date. What's been different from this camp from others? Well, I was just so disgusted with myself on how I, I gassed out halfway through the fight when Natan was putting so much pressure on me. I said it yesterday, but like I felt like I was fighting in a Rocky movie where you know how Rocky just comes forward and he gets his ass kicked for like you know, maybe the first three or four rounds, and then he start, every punch hits him in the face, but he keeps plodding forward until he breaks the guy. Like, he just had his hands up, and he just kept coming forward until there was nothing left on my punches, no steam. And then he was very good at judo, you know, uh, keeping me off balance. And it, it frustrated me, and it gassed me. So I went back to the drawing board. I started working on muscular endurance, because my muscles felt really heavy during the fight. My arms felt heavy, my legs felt heavy and I crushed myself with cardio. So, I mean, I'm ready for this kid to try to put a pace on. I know you go out every fight looking to get the finish first and then you yeah. win, but is there that urgency to make sure you have a finish? And what do you think the mindset will be if it doesn't come in the first, second round? No, because I think if you look at the two weight classes that have just about wrapped up so far, I don't think, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but anyone that's scored, I don't think has been left out of the tournament yet. So, Not yet. And my weight class has less guys that scored than any other weight class in the first round because Efren didn't make weight. 
So only five dudes scored and only like two had bonus points. So I'm not gonna sweat and stress that I need to put him away in the first round. I think by doing that, that's when a finish like that will come, when I'm just doing my thing. But make no mistake, like I talked to my brothers about this. Uh, this isn't gonna be some feel out process, technical, he's just trying to, to win the fight. I'm coming across the cage for him, like immediately, immediately. Being so close to home compared to most fights, how has family and friends helped you prepare for this fight? Well, I'm just a guy that likes to be in my normal rhythm. I don't like being broken out of my normal rhythm. When we, when we travel and we get put up in a hotel, you're kind of, you know, you're, you're in a small area and the only time you're leaving is to go grab something to eat quick, down to the small workout room to get a workout with your coaches, or if you're really getting antsy, like, hey, let's go walk the mall or something, you see the same 15 stores you've seen in every mall, right? Paxon and whatever the hell you walk past. So uh, it really takes you out of your element. Um, being home, nothing's broken for me. I'm just going about my day. I sleep in my own bed. I'm eating food out of my own refrigerator. I'm just at my own gym training. I'm here at, at law with all, all my people from Long Island training. So I have a huge, huge edge here. I'm gonna have my fans screaming for me. It's, uh, it's a big edge. You were part of a big thing cleaning up the bay recently. Yeah. How does doing something like that take your mind off of fighting and um, relaxing, kind of? Yeah, Island Strong has a way of, you know, we're so busy during the summer, it has a way of letting me escape a little bit. My, my constant mindset of visualizing the fight and playing it out over and over, it lets me escape that. I get over there with my partners, with Terrence, Brian, and Al, and uh, we we do good things to, to help Long Island and to help local businesses and charities. So to be out on the water with Operation Splash by Jones Beach, we're right by the theater um, on some of the little islands, just cleaning up all the debris that has washed up. And uh, you know, it's just rewarding. It feels good to be out there with those kinds of people that care. Thanks, man. Good, good luck. Uh, just, I guess one more for me to the next show be in the, in the future with, with the win to, uh, this week? Oh, yeah, I want another crack at him. I really, really want another crack at him. Uh, I have a feeling we'll cross paths again here in this tournament. He's, make no mistakes about it, he's a, he's a tough SOB. You don't just beat me if you're not really, really legit. So I have a lot of respect for him, but next time we're going to punch some holes in that game, literally. Thank <laughs> you.